Hello and welcome back to Flute Salad. Welcome! So, yesterday, Sonic X Shadow Generations got its first full trailer. So, let's take a little look at that. We're going to watch it through, and then we're going to watch it through in slow motion, do analysis, a little bit of speculation, uh, and then we're going to show off their website a little bit, because there's a few things that I want to show there. Alright, let's begin. So, let's start with this. I hope the audio is okay, by the way. So we start with this. This is just normal generations. Every generation needs heroes. And this yeah, is just normal generations for this beginning bit. And anti-heroes. Alright, and then here we see our boy Shadow. This is the... So we've got some new stages here. Well, odd stages from heroes. Uh, I was losing my mind at this. Um, I was watching this yesterday. I'll talk about this afterwards. I'll just be quiet for the trailer. This banger song that's about to come up. Get ready for the remix. Here we go. Two epic adventures. Kingdom Valley. I was losing my mind. And he has fucking wings. Available October 25th, and there's a nice new render of Shadow. Some stuff here, which we'll go over in a second. Um, and then this, which is insane. Alright, that's that. So now we'll go over this a little bit slower. So we're going to just turn the volume down just a little bit. And we're going to crank this playback speed down to 0.25. And we're going to go through this. So, to begin with, we have the beginning bit. This just looks like regular generations. It's running in 60, obviously. You know, maybe a few of the materials look a bit nicer. Like, on some of the screenshots, you can see, like, a pattern on Sonic's fur, which I couldn't notice before. But, I mean, it's just kind of regular generations. The bit where it shows rooftop run, that does look better. I might just be tripping. But, to me, that looks better. Every generation needs heroes. So, again, this just shows normal generations. If we actually go back a little bit. Yeah, but do, 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 do. we can see... Yeah, this is normal generations. You see the reflection? It's a bit funky, but... On the most part, it does actually look really, really quite nice here. Um, yeah, again, this is just kind of normal, normal generation stuff. Um, yeah, this is, it just looks like generations. To be honest, there's not really too much special going on here. But unlike Colors Ultimate, it looks like generations. It doesn't look awful. Um, so that's good. With Classic Sonic. Apparently, there is a drop dash in it. I don't know if we see it in the trailer, but apparently, there is a drop dash in this. And anti-heroes. And then here we see our first look at Shadow during a cutscene. This looks so beautiful. It looks so nice. Hedgehog Engine 2 really starting to flex him. I did think in some instances in Frontier it did look a bit ugly, but here it looks good. I've seen this a few people saying this is from the original game. I don't think it is, considering we're quite clearly in space here. So this looks like a boss fight takes place maybe on like the Space Colony arc or something. Not quite sure. I mean, here we see a hero stage, not Rail Canyon, it's the one after it. Bull bullet Station? Or the one before it? I don't know. It's either Bullet Station or Rail Canyon. Which is the first time we've seen a hero stage return since Seaside Hill. So, it is nice to see actual representation of this. I know a few people have been like, oh, we're stage is coming back. Yeah, but it's Generations, of course, they're just going to be coming back. And they've got these cannons, you know, you can fire yourself that in Heroes. This honestly looks beautiful. I'm so glad the stage is coming back. And what's really funny is before the trailer, earlier in the day, I was messaging my girlfriend and we were talking about it, thinking about what's going to be in the trailer. And I was like, well, I think, you know, the stage from Heroes with, like, Rao Canyon, I think that's possible. I thought either that one for uh, a hero stage or, like, Bingo Highway, we could see. Uh, kind of a bit disappointed we didn't see Bingo Highway. Uh, it might be in the game, who knows. But, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we don't really see too much level-wise. A lot of rails for this, but it's a rail stage in the base game, predominantly anyway, so... That kind of makes sense. We see these cool trippy bits. We saw this before. We actually get a bit of an extended look at this scene from the last trailer. Where he's fallen down really, really nicely... Hang on a second, could you see into his hand there? Am I tripping? Oh yeah, yeah, we can see into his hand. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, he's falling down. This looks very much like the beginning of Shadow War. I assume this is going to be 
towards opening of the game, and he gets sucked into the pool to move by the time eater or something. And this is just Westopolis as it was in Shadow, and as in like uh, Shadow's game, two thousand five. Three hedgehogs, and then we just see some more of Sonic, but we don't care about that. Here we see this, which is Chaos Control. Again, in the rail stage, so there is more rails going down there, so that's clearly another path, which runs along down there, which is nice. This one goes forwards, we don't know where that goes. It looks like maybe it just goes forwards and round onto there and drops down onto there anyway. But either way, it looks beautiful. You can actually see this path, and I think that's the path which you might automatically follow, or at least a path that's going to show you like the best route to take if you do Chaos Control, because there are a few screenshots where you can see it. So either this is just going to follow this route, or it's... Uh, as in, like, you know, in Black Knight, we use Chaos Control. And it just fires you through the stage. Or it could be, like, just shows you the, the best route. I'm not sure yet. But he's got these after images, and we can see he's frozen time. That is stuck in place. That's just normal generations route. We don't really care too much about that. All right, two epic adventures. So we can see here he is on the arc, being chased by these bullets, as he does the Sonic Forces pose. Here we are back again in Rail Canyon. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Mm, my goodness. Kingdom Valley, right, here we go, Buckaroo. I said as well to my girlfriend, I think this stage is going to be in there, but I didn't really expect it to. I didn't really expect any more... 06 stages, to be honest, but I mean, look, look at it. I want an 06 remake. Now, give it to me now. It's never going to happen. This is the closest we're ever, ever, ever going to get to that. But um, we can see he's got these platforms as well. There are some red rings off in the distance over there. I don't know how you'd get to that one. Because um, I assume you're going to take these up and it takes you up to a platform up there. But we can see, again, it's more open pathways, similar to how the 06 level design was. So if we can move anywhere on that platform, I'm going to lose my mind. So there's one there. There's another red ring you can take there, which I assume will just give you a skip there. If not, you'll have to go down there and jump up onto there. We also see some, what looks like more lights on top of that bridge. So I assume you can get onto there somehow. Not quite sure how. I also wonder if the eagles are going to return. Oh, there's something there. Can you see that? Ah, that's a dash panel. So you run along there, hit the dash panel. That's probably going to take you over to there. You probably go up that way, I imagine, boom, and then along around the corner. We can see some enemies there um, from 062. Again, Planet Wisp, this is just normal stuff. Here, we see, after we get to Planet Wisp, this looks better than it does in the original game. I don't know if I'm just tripping. I mean, it says upgraded visuals, but it actually does just look better here. I'm not sure what it is. I might just be tripping, but it just genuinely looks better to me than in OG gens. Who knows? Anyways, here we see more from Kingdom Valley. For a split second, I thought this was from Black Knight. I got really excited and then I realised it, it wasn't. I got sad. Uh, this is a 2D section, so 2D sections in the shadow bit, which is a bit of a shame, but honestly we kind of expected that. Uh, this here opens rails which go down that way, but it does also look like there's a path which goes upwards. So you could uh, light speed dash up there, so there's an alternate path there. This cuts to this section. We don't really see it too much more, just more of 06, and it looks absolutely beautiful. One ultimate collection. We see some more of Roof at Run going along there. And then we get this bit of shadow. Where he gets Black Doom powers. And he's fallen. And he grows wings. He grows wings. He does that eye thing. He just... He grows wings! Like, what? And he does actually talk, so I'm gonna turn the volume up and do it so you can hear his voice. Because it's actually... This is like the first time Kirk Thornton's voice as Shadow, I think, actually sounds genuinely really good. There we go. Available October 25th, and then we see these things here. So here's just the box, which I think is a bit ugly. Pre-order now. So I actually pre-ordered this earlier. It's a full price game, which I think is a bit extortionate. The base game is £45. If you get the digital deluxe, it's £54. Um, which I think is a lot for what it is, but there you go. Um, so we can see, if you pre-order it now, 
you get Gerald Robotnik's journal detailing Shadow's creation, which has an asterisk, and I don't actually know if it talks about it anywhere else, which it doesn't seem to, so I'm not really sure the point of that asterisk. Um, so yeah, that's amazing. I can't remember where it was. It might have been on their website. Ah, I heard it somewhere. But it's 28 pages long, so that will go crazy. Also, you get a Sonic Adventure Legacy skin, which is peak. I love that. That's really cute. Um, and then also, if you get a digital deluxe version, you get all of that. You get, um, yeah, three, uh, play three days early, so it comes out October 22nd, if you get that version. Um, additional level and skin for Shadow, releasing holiday 2024. So I want to talk about the Terrio skin here, which is Shadow's beta design. That was the beta version of Shadow. Kind of like how Feels the Rabbit was a beta version of Sonic. Now... This is amazing. I love that they're acknowledging this. I love that they've done this. That's sick. I don't know if that is the additional skin for Shadow. I don't know if we're counting that as the Shadow skin or not, or if we're getting that just by getting the Duke Deluxe version, you get another one later on. Don't really know. Um, skill points. Now, the skill points, as I hear, it's exclusively for Generations. Um, it said that in the on the PlayStation Store when I was pre-ordering it. It says, skill points and brackets Sonic Generations. So this isn't for the Shadow Generations portion, just the Sonic Generations. Extra background music pack. Again, I don't know if that's for the Shadow version, the Sonic part, or both, or what. But yeah, you get extra background music, which is peak. I love me. Some background music. Digital art book and OST. So again, that's the same we got with Frontiers pre-order and Superstars pre-order. They tend to do that with the your um, thingies now. And that's that. So overall, it's looking... It's looking great, I think. It really does look very good. Um, and I'm really, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is kind of looking. I think it's very expensive, but we have an official release date now, about just over four months away. Is it four months away? Uh, July, August, September, October. Yeah, just over four months away. And it's looking pretty beautiful. The fact we're getting Kingdom Valley makes me go insane. I was actually watching it with my girlfriend uh, at no, we were, on a, we were on a call last night, and I was watching, and she wasn't. And I was telling her, I was like, I'll tell you when Sonic comes up. And she goes, oh, I'm going to go to the toy look quick. And literally, the second she goes, this comes up. And I'm like, Sonic! 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 Um, but yeah. Where's my Goat Kingdom Valley? It does look very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very cool looking. Um... Where is my goat? Where is my goat? Where is my goat? Where is my goat? Yeah, Kingdom Valley! Uh, I also want to quickly take a little detour um, to their website. So we can see here we've got a... Whoops, oh, I do not accept the cookies. There's a Sonic Generations portion where we see these nice new renders of Sonic, which look really nice. Features, an epic time-traveling adventure. Past uh, past meets present Sonic Generations. Dr. Eggman teams up with his past self. Blah, blah, blah. This is just, yeah, that. Um, Spin Dash with the greatest hits collection of 2D and 3D versions of iconic stages from past Sonic games, now with updated visuals and reworked cinematics. That's the bit that gets me. So, I don't know if they've just re-rendered them, or, like, in a higher resolution, or if they've actually been remade, or if they've got new voice acting, or what. But reworked cinematics, I'm not quite sure what they mean by that. Updated visuals, I mean, it looks very similar to me, apart from in a few instances here and there. Um, more collectible bonus content. So, Rescue Chow hiding in every level. So this, I assume, is kind of like, you know, the Sonic Frontiers update three levels, and you had the Cocos that were hidden um, across all of the levels. I assume this is kind of something like that, and you had to, like, it's a thing you can, optional thing to rescue some Cocos. Crack up the highest Pindle Swarm, like Casino Night Zone, so yeah, this was just a DLC. And check out the museum um, for behind-the-scenes art, music, and more. So that was in the game anyway. We've got the trailer, and we have some screenshots here which we'll go through at the end. Uh, and then we just see some pre-order stuff and blah 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 blah. We take a look over at the Shadow Generations portion. It's actually called Shadow Generations. That's sick. That looks amazing. Alright, you can see the trailer playing right here. This beautiful new render of Shadow. Um, the Return of Shadow. In this new standalone campaign, Shadow's nemesis, Black Doom, has re-emerged and threatened to stake over the world once again. Shadow must journey into his past to confront his painful memory, so we're going to see Maria get killed again, and unlock new dark powers to save the world. So I assume this is the thingy, whatever it is. Um, uh, the wings. Shadow evolved. Harness 
Shadow's new Doom powers to battle hordes of enemies, tackling platforming challenges like never before. Surf on water, fly over obstacles, and stop time with the return of Chaos Control. So yeah, that's some of the upgrades we're going to get for him, or the, the powers he's going to get. Journey through time and dimensions. Experience the ultimate showdown between Shadow and the Black Doom, so here it is there. A new boss battle that will test your skills and reflexes, so we don't know... If this, if this only has one boss battle, because they showed the Bio Lizard stuff in previous trailers. So I don't know if this is... I don't, I don't really know what this is. Use all of Shadow's abilities to defeat Black Doom and save worlds. Well, if we're just getting one boss fight, or if we're getting a few like we do in Generations, this is the bit which really tickles my fancy. Explore the new white space. Stretch your legs in an all-new hub world inspired by the open zone gameplay of Sonic Frontiers. I fucking love Sonic Frontiers, and I love that this is the thing. This is amazing. It looks beautiful. We'll look at that in more detail in just a second. As Shadow gains new powers, he can explore further and uncover the secrets hidden throughout. So that obviously there's going to be a few secrets here and then. I guess similar to Frontiers had um, in a few bits. Maybe some little bonus stages here and there. But that is that. I want to quickly just take a look at um, this. I mean... Let's have a little look at this. So there's Shadow, just looking absolutely beautiful. Um, we can see some grind rails here. Oh, it's very much of Bowser's Fury. Kind of gives me Bowser's Fury energy. I assume we can go pretty much anywhere in this stage. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, which is peak. We've got some stuff over here. These, I assume, will be the level portals. So how you access the levels. This, I assume, is the hero stage. Access portal, that's what it kind of looks like. Maybe you step into that thing and it takes you to the level. Kind of like how the mirrors did in um, 06. This big massive tower, not sure what that is um, about. We see these kind of goo everywhere. People have been saying it looks kind of like Mephilus goo, which would be sick. Don't know if it is or not. Um, we can see literally copy and paste Sonic Frontier's platform there, but that's fine. Um, yeah, just some more pathways. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's just a thing or what that is. Some grind rails going up there. So yeah, it looks absolutely... Yeah, there you can see a big thing of goo down there as well. So I'm not sure what that is. He's got his Sonic Forces stance. He had that in Forces. More things around here. Different platforms you can go on. Some floating rails. Everyone's favourite. Um, I assume that might be another level gate there. You can see it's kind of whited out, but it looks very similar to the thing that's over there. So I assume that's a uh, level which either hasn't been completed yet or hasn't been unlocked yet. I assume what's going to happen is, similar to Frontiers, as you progress through the stages, more of these different platforms are going to unlock here and there, right? And like, different rails will unlock, which will allow you to get to different um, sectors of the hub world, and then, un uh, and then play later levels as well, is I assume what's going on here. But this looks absolutely beautiful. Apparently there is a playable demo. So, we'll be getting more gameplay and more opinions on that uh, today, actually. I think the playable demo for the game is today. Um, so, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for things like that. But, yeah, that is basically it. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to play it. It looks amazing. I can't wait to hear more and see more trailers closer towards release date. We're also getting the... Um, we're also getting the... Uh, animated... Like prologue as well, the same as we have for Frontiers and Superstars and basically everything recently. Uh, Colors Ultimate, everything, which is amazing. So I'm really excited to see that. But yeah, this is basically that. Sonic X Shadow Generations looking amazing. And I can't wait to check it out. Thank you for watching this video. And goodbye.